It doesn't get any better than that. Hello everyone, Clayton Lucas here with you once again to bring you the latest updates from week one of the Women's Volleyball Nations League here in Ankara, Turkey A, and also from uh, Shreveport, Bossier City, Louisiana, USA, as week one concludes today. So the first subject of the day is Belgium. They were winless for two matches, but they won in five. It was an absolute marathon match against Thailand, which went right down to the wire. They managed to squeak it in the end, 15-13 in the decider. And what a victory for Gert van der Broek and his team. They'll be absolutely delighted with that. Not quite so though for Thailand, because it now puts them on two and one. And their last game today will be against their Asian rivals from China, who so far are undefeated. Now on behalf of myself and volley fans around the world I would like to uh, send my best wishes to Tat Dow who picked up an injury in the game against Belgium. We wish her all the best, a speedy recovery and we hope to see her back in action for Thailand very soon. Last night in Louisiana we had one of the biggest rivals in sport come together yet again as the USA, the host, took on Brazil and it was a victory for the USA. There was intense action right the way through the match. At the beginning of the week, I talked about the stars that would be here at week one of the Volleyball Nations League. And one of those who shone really brightly this week is Yuan Xinyue of China. Taking the captain's armband for the first time, she has led the team magnificently through the middle, guiding the rookie players and also helping China to remain undefeated. We've had some great matches all week, just as we had hoped we would have, and we're gonna round it all off with another couple of key games that you just don't want to miss. The USA are taking on Koga and Japan, and here in Ankara, well, it's the Asian derby as Thailand take on China. You can watch all the matches live and on demand only on Volleyball TV. I'm Clayton Lucas, until next time.